Our children are very much not problem solvers. Their life's very good, their life's very easy. Come to school, play with our friends, study, go home, do tuition, go for enrichment, end of the day already. But this will not be what will prepare them for the future. A lot of the jobs that we have now is actually going to be irrelevant when our children grow up. What we're really working on in the last one to two years is really a future-ready curriculum. And what that allows us to do is to not just look at the learning outcomes of the subject, but look at the soft skills that we want to build in the children. Can our kids communicate? Can they collaborate with others? Can they present in front of others in teams? Uh, can they persevere through a difficult task? Children come to school from 7.30 to 1.30. They are not going to sit on their chair, glued to their seats and listen to uh, the teacher drone on and on. Uh, one thing you notice also, we are an all-boys school. Boys are kinesthetic learners. They learn by movement, they learn by touching. So while you call it very fun, fun and it's all play, they are still learning, but they are learning through uh, hands-on uh, interaction or even uh, making of artifacts that allows them to share their concepts. Earlier on, we started with coding and robotics. We introduced coding into uh, all our classrooms from P1 all the way through to P6. Computational thinking is a way of thinking that we want to grow in our children. So some of the basic things will be, can the children make patterns? Can the children think logically in a sequence? And basically, when the children face a problem in their codes, are they able to go back to their sequence? Are they able to debug it? So that's computational thinking. We always say that children learn through play. So when we say we take the teacher out of teaching, the teachers are now the facilitators. So what we do is we create activities that the children will learn on their own. The teacher can drive the conversations, but really actually children also learn off each other in that very fun, competitive way in the classroom also. Okay, one, two, three, go. Whoa. This term, Primary 5, they are doing uh, Architecture uh, 101. It's a collaboration with the Math Department because after discussing with the Math HOD, uh, she feels that the children do not have a good grasp of 3D shapes. I think we are very bold uh, in trialling what we call an integrated curriculum. That means our teachers no longer teach math, English or science in silos. We get our teachers to work in teams and we work on what we call like a problem-based learning. Are they able to see what's the problem in society or just even in their own school? Are they able to interview and empathise such that um, the prototype they build or the product that they come up with is something that will solve a problem for the end user also? I feel that through such a curriculum, they realise that, hey, I can actually apply my knowledge in all these different subject areas to something that's practical, that I can see the outcome of it. <laughs>